Don and Janet are having a barbecue with their friends Dave and Barb and are talking about the roads in Illinois. Janet is frustrated because every time she needs to get to work, there are traffic delays on the roads. Dave is upset that potholes are messing up the suspension on his car. And Barb is forced to take a detour every day to get her kids to and from school because the bridge near their house is closed because it's not safe. When are they going to fix the problems with the transportation infrastructure, the friends lament. Don shares their concern. After all, if the state of Illinois doesn't do anything, one in every three road miles and one out of every 10 bridges will be structurally deficient or functionally obsolete by the year 2020. But where's the money to fix it going to come from? The total annual funding needed to maintain and operate the state system has been estimated at $5 billion per year. The motor fuel tax is only 19 cents per gallon and hasn't been increased in decades. With inflation, the 19 cents is worth less every year. Cars are becoming more fuel efficient, making the motor fuel tax revenue stream even lower. With declining motor fuel tax receipts and the budget problems with the Federal Highway Trust Fund, the money just isn't there. Don tells the group about a new solution to the problem. It's called the iRide program, which stands for Illinois Road Improvement and Driver Enhancement. Here's what it is. Under the plan, drivers would get to choose one of three pay-as-you-drive road user fees based on the number of miles driven. The money from those fees would only go to fixing Illinois' transportation infrastructure, nothing else. These are the three options. The iRide Smart Plan reports only miles traveled on public, non-tolled Illinois roads using Global Positioning System (GPS) measuring technology. The iRide Convenient Plan records all miles traveled without the use of GPS location services for residents who wish to keep their location private. And the iRide Deluxe Plan charges motorists a flat rate equal to 30,000 miles per year, providing an alternative for those who do not want to have mileage reporting technology in their automobiles. But how will out-of-state drivers continue to pay for the damage they cause to our roads? Don tells the group that the motor fuel tax will stay in place at the pump, but Illinois drivers will receive a credit for any motor fuel tax they pay. So, how much would it cost Illinois drivers, they asked Don. To replace the motor fuel tax with a stable revenue stream, it would cost only 1.5 cents per mile for passenger vehicles. This is the replacement rate, and it will cost virtually no more than what the current motor fuel tax costs. If, however, the goal is to create a world-class transportation network in Illinois that sets the bar for the future, it would be 4 cents per mile. This is the full capacity rate. But wait, Dave asks, what does that mean for my household? How much is it actually going to cost us? Don tells them that it's not as much as they might think. Currently, the average Illinois household pays $20 a month in motor fuel taxes. Under the replacement rate, the estimated bill to an Illinois household will be no additional cost, and under the full capacity rate, it would only be $45 per month because Illinois drivers are credited back to the motor fuel taxes they paid. Dave says, hey, the replacement rate is basically the same, but even the full capacity rate is still lower than our electricity, gas, cable, and cell phone bills. And at replacement rates, the state would conservatively generate an additional half billion in annual funds. Under full capacity rates, it would be $2.6 billion more. Janet chimes in and tells the group that it will actually support the creation of thousands of new jobs every year. iRide would also allow the state to improve rail and air transportation, would reduce traffic congestion, and would increase work at firm connectivity. Barbara says that she thinks it's a fair plan because it only charges the people who actually drive on the roads. For more information on the Illinois iRide plan and the benefits it can bring, visit IllinoisEPI.org.